Hello to everyone that is joining. I see more people showing up. We are troubleshooting all the little cue moments and features of the Onboard XR cue base as we used in NPC Musical and uh, just kind of going through them slowly so we can put together little instructional videos. So thanks for being here. And if you have questions, let us know because it's the entire point of uh, doing this is to try to figure out what we don't know and what we're not explaining correctly so that we can empower more people to use this cool queuing system. Easy for me to say. So now we go into more fun stuff, which is animating avatars. Um, this this is one of the most delightful things that we can do. Um, so why don't I start with just animating my avatar? Um, and let me grab a fun one real quick. So we can change the rotation, position, or scale of an avatar. The way that they're rigged, rotation is the most finicky of all of them because the the center point is actually at the feet or the uh, the root of the avatar is at the foot right. so it rotates based on that axis so uh -huh. uh, so unfortunately that one is the kind of wonkiest and takes takes the most work but um, well, i was gonna say if you change yellow guy to some other avatar as well just because the yellow head is so confusing because it's just a head so it just yeah. looks like a potato so <laughs> if you just if you want to throw in another uh random url for right now just so that people actually see a, a bodied avatar. Yeah, cool. There's well, two I NPCs. all of us to NPC. Perfect. Uh, oh, we're cool. all NPCs. I so I everyone. look down and I see my body now and I am an NPC. So yeah. that's an example of changing everybody in the world. Maybe I'll start with scale because it can just be so ridiculous. Um, and what we found with changing scales is actually a really interesting way to uh, to manipulate people's camera views. So you'll see in a second, but if you stretch it in a way where you're stretching the X or the Y more than the other axes, it will actually stretch the camera view at the same time. But let's start with scale since this is what we have. I'll give it a duration of maybe three seconds. Um, and I'm gonna target uh, stage manager, which is, uh, should be Brendan, the one on your right right I think. yeah cool so i'm just gonna make this this guy 10 times the size that he is right now cool there we go Whee! oh my god that's it's huge yeah so <laughs> so we've got a very very big uh npc right there um as you can see i can look down it's a very mm -hmm. interesting view down here. If I was in headset, I would like bend down and like pick up these like little baby NPCs <laughs> on the ground, um, <laughs> which is really, really delightful. Um, and now I'm going to make the X axis a thousand um, just for fun. And let's do it over like 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, just to see. So now I'm going to do a crazy stretch on this. Wow. So <laughs> he's stretching now across uh, across the surface of the planet. And if I, it's, I'm going to be very careful not to dr click and drag because when you're on desktop and you're stretched like this in a way that's uneven on all axes, if you actually, the, the drag and look is totally messed up. Um, it, it will breaks the neck, your, right? Yeah, it breaks the neck. Okay. Um, but I can use the the Q and E buttons to rotate just in a circle and do this crazy kind of windmill thing over and over again, um, which is really fun. Um, so now, I'm waiting for my camera to stop. Like, so did you stretch vertically like this, or did you stretch horizontally like this? I think I stretched horizontally. Okay. Um, so I stretched on the X axis. Now yeah. I'm going to add in the Z axis, but keep the Y axis small. So it should become so a big pancake now. So it's almost like this big <laughs> blanket of an avatar yeah. that's on top of us. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm going to try and move it around to see kind of something, if I can do anything funny. It's like, yeah, it still looks like a big windmill. Can you, because I've seen this in the NPC show, can you pancake him at like 10? or five yeah. or something like that, just so I can see the pancake in front of me. Yeah, let's bring uh, let's bring it down to one by 10. Cool. So it's gonna shrink down slowly. And this should allow, oh, he's gonna like put through us. Ugh. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my gosh. So I don't even know where, where Cool, I see it. Oh man. <laughs> so 
yeah, this is a much shorter pancake version of one to ten on the pancakiness. Right. Now I'm gonna change the I'm gonna get rid of the Z axis stretching and do X and Y. So it should be like a almost like a a very like a toothpick. No. Yeah, like a toothpick. Wee. Oh, but that's not yeah. very toothpickish. I don't know why. It's I... close. It's getting there. That's a toothpick. I think the X <laughs> needs to be way more. Maybe X by one hundred. Oh, oh there yeah. we go. Because I wanted it to be like a window or like a, a pane. Ah. Yeah. Cool. So I'm going to fly up if you can see. You can see the eyes. It's almost like one of those like sailfish things. You can see the eyes on each side. Um, see, I'm going to come up there. Oh, wow. Our NPC has turned into a, a big sailfish. Um, now I'm going to make him flat by stretching the Z and not the X. It's gonna go wow. the other way now. That's cool. <laughs> so now he's <laughs> almost billboarded towards everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you're watching it all, what's on kind of the left of my screen, like the stretching on my screen is insane right now. And Brendan, I since you have a clearer view, I might go ahead and manipulate your avatar. So just don't. Uh, Hold on, let me let me get down to the ground again so we can actually see the world stretch a little because there's no horizon in this world. Stand in front maybe of the of the column. Uh, or not the column, the arch. Yeah, I'm in front of the arch now. Okay. So I think stretching your Y axis is what I want to do. So I'm going to do an ease in sign, which is just a, a kind of easing where you'll accelerate into the animation. Cool. Um, and I'm going to stretch you by 100 on the Y axis. So cool. Ooh, yeah, it's flattened the whole world. So it went pancake. Yeah, everything went pancake. So all you flat earthers will be very happy. We've proven it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> let me let me try. Uh... Now I'm being reset. Yeah, let me try spaghetti this time. Um, cool. So I'm going to do. I'm gonna do X and Z with hopes that this will make it look like uh, like spaghetti. Cool. Yeah. So that's my POV of the world. That's what it, the world now looks like. And it's cool, and this is something Michael just found out during rehearsals, which is so brilliant, is instead of having to create a transition or some sort of filter or effect on the world, we can just change the audience's camera view and distort it like this. And it feels like a transition into the next scene. So it basically is like adding some sort of weird filmic transition or effect or filter um, and allows us to quickly swap out the world without it fading to black and fading back up. Like it just instead completely distorts the world in this very artistic and I think satisfying way it feels much more colorful and satisfying to see the world turn to mush than it does to just turn the lights out and change the scenery. Yeah. So I have not touched my computer in all of this ever since he distorted me. But if I, the user, click and drag, and you just saw a kunk, it was almost like I fell over. And now my neck, I can't turn the mouse at all. My neck is now broken like this from here on out. I can still move the arrow keys but my neck is stuck and it doesn't fix unless I completely reload the screen. So we have and to be I'm careful gonna... about the audience moving around or looking around whenever we're distorting their view like this, because if they break their neck, it literally breaks their view for the rest of the show. And Brendan, I've reset you to uh, regular scale and now you can see it's off on the, it's yeah. like tilted 45 <laughs> degrees, right? Yeah, it's, it's like and... Dutch camera angle. What what's nice though is that this does not happen on headset, which is really nice. Um, Very cool. Because that that would be incredibly nauseating. Uh, I could not imagine watching the whole world sideways. Um, I don't know. That could be that could be an artsy way to make a show. Should I take this moment to reload in and get reset back at the burial ground? Yeah. Let's go. Cool.